All right, so we finished the daily, and uh, I mean, you've been playing this deck since its actual creation, whereas uh, I dismissed it during testing for the Pro Tour since you had, you know, a list with four Battlewise Hoplite instead of one, and a lot of those those versions didn't work as well as this one did. But ever since I started playtesting with this uh, for this versus or for this Moto video, I'm impressed, and what what happened in these videos where we just won all the matches is kind of what happened when I was testing with it, too. Um, but, like, these numbers seem so unique, and they're very Tom Ross numbers. But what, what ends up happening is the deck doesn't feel like it stumbles as much, even though, like, there's a lot of unique one ofs and two ofs. It's just more of a compliment. Like, the deck wants five ordeals, so, yes, you'd play a, a blue one over this, I'm guessing, if you had it, but you do want that additional one, and you want six of this effect. And, and I do like that you've ran the numbers to where you even have this battle as Hoplite that every time I draw it feels good. Mm -hmm. Um... But yeah, so what I'd want to ask you is after playing this deck, it's, it's obviously powerful. I don't really need to talk about that anymore. Ross Merriam, well-known player on the Star City Circuit, crushed the event. Uh, you ended up fumbling against a lot of the aggressive decks, and I don't know if there's a way to perfect that. But uh, moving forward, where do you think this deck goes? I think the list right now is very good. I, tr I tried an experimental build in Cleveland that ran a Helaz Pokemon again, which I think is one of the better cards against uh, Esper Dragons. And my matchup against those were really good, except, but it, uh, yeah, I fumbled against aggro by taking more control in the route, I guess. But, uh, yeah, Ross's list looks real good. Um, I really don't know what I'd change with it. If the mirror comes up, you might want a couple cards against it. Like glares? Like glares, yeah. Yeah, glares seems like the most powerful card for the mirror match, so if this deck starts popping up in your local metagame, I would suggest playing some glares. And for those at home, like, my initial opinion of cards that I would cut are probably these two for two glares. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I don't want to cut any of the cruises because they're so essential against the black 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 based control decks. Mm -hmm. And uh and yeah, I I think you want the disdainful strokes. Well actually this card has not been performing that well for me. It just doesn't come in in a lot of matchups. Like there's so many decks right now that are half three and under because they're Death Miss Raptor Den Protector decks that try to play cheap spells. Like uh um, Mastery of the Unseen and Dromoka's Commands and stuff like that and then the other half of the deck is like a Whisperwood Elemental right. so like I feel like this card might actually just not be the best uh, position it's good against the control decks because you can keep them from Cruxing or Perilous Vaulting even it's against the dragons there are various dragon decks yep. right now and the Stroke just hits all the dragon decks yeah it is just the best card against actually countering all the dragons Stormbest Dragon is the best card against this deck that in makes case, sense in case an ice only like Solves it a little bit. They still can monster so it and kind of hurt sometimes. Yeah, but this just counters it straight up. Right. All right. Well, Tom, thanks for uh, coming and playing with me today. I mean, the audience doesn't know this, but I, I made you since we're roommates now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just forced him to make this video with me. But thank you so much for joining me today. You're welcome. I yeah. guess. <laughs> All right. Everyone, you have a wonderful uh, week. Join us for. I think a couple more versus videos, and then uh, Tom will be going back to Louisiana to finish up a lot of things for his moving up here, and I'm going to be in Toronto trying to get all the points, but join us this weekend in Portland, where you'll find Cedric and Patrick Sullivan bringing you 15 rounds of Jerry crushing the whole tournament. <laughs> anyway, see you guys later. Bye, everybody.